Hey guys, uh, it's a new little social media campaign I'm gonna try and do for the next 30 days. I'm gonna do 30 photos over the next 30 days and give you some 30 uh, stories that go along with each image there. Uh, hopefully this will help inspire you to take some photos of your own, maybe get in the water, do some underwater photography, and uh, pick up a few tips and tricks along the way. So I'm sitting right here in my new Marine Art Metal Gallery in uh, Express Water Sports' main lobby here in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. As you can see behind me, I got some great photographs. If you guys know me uh, you know uh, I love the ocean and love photographing these animals and uh, some of my angles are that I'm trying to inspire you to care more about our ocean and the animals that live in it through photography and videography so today uh, we're gonna pick up our first little photo here uh, and I'll put that in on the big screen there but this image was an image of a sand tiger shark that was uh, shot offshore of Merle's Inlet, about 40 miles off the beach on the SS Hebe, which is a Dutch merchant ship that sunk during World War II. And uh, it's a really cool image because it shows you a symbiotic relationship between the big shark, which is approximately probably eight feet in total length, and the mackerel scad minnows, which school in the hundreds around these animals and then in the thousands around the reefs. So interesting uh, adaptation about this is that these two animals work together. Uh, one of the local uh, scientists up at Coastal Carolina University actually just published some papers and documents on this behavior. And uh, pretty much what they're starting to find is that the fish utilize the shark for some protection against some mid to intermediate level predators. And then the sharks use the small fish schooling around it for uh, camouflage when it's out there hunting. So both the animals, the species get a benefit to uh, utilize each other's size and then also uh, work their way around uh, predation and uh, being a predator or prey. So pretty cool image there. A few little photo tips for this shot. I was using my a Canon 5D Mark III camera. I was using a Tonkina 10 to 17 millimeter lens and I was using my Ike Lake 161 uh, as uh, strobes there to uh, illuminate the subject. So when you're doing your strobe positioning, you're gonna wanna distance those strobes on a big wide angle shot and focal point and show those strobes pointing in the outward angle. So the cone of the light beam out and uh, really pop that uh, subject in front of you. You're gonna have to play and adjust with those settings there. Obviously, if you're new to photography, you have no idea what you're doing out there, I do recommend finding a local photo pro, uh, especially that focuses in underwater photography to maybe take a class or a session with them. I do offer these uh, virtually and also in person. I do like the in-person meetings a little better than the virtual stuff, but we can get you a course set up whenever you like. I uh, also too like to plug a little dive photo uh, travel trips as well. So I have uh, two trips this year. One is uh, about partly filled. Uh, that's going to Saba. That's the last weekend, uh, last week in September. We're going to be going down to Saba. It's a Dutch island off in the Lesser Antilly Islands. If you just look at the Caribbean map, it's the ones further south there. But this is a terrific uh, trip in which we're going to be focusing on uh, some photography. Or if you just want to dive, have fun, kick back at the pool, get massages and cocktails, you don't have to do any of the photography. It's a fun travel trip. And I'm also going to be going to Indonesia as well. So anyway, that's your photo of the day, a little story to go with it, some settings. If you have questions, comments, put it down there in the comment section. And I'd be happy to answer more of your questions. Until tomorrow, we'll see you on the web.